Hello, my name is Alyssa Thompson, and I will be presenting my final presentation of uh, our final paper. My exhibit is called MOM, Museum of Motherhood. I chose this because the human condition of motherhood is extraordinary. There's so many different ways that you can explain it, and this is just a little bit of what I would like to present inside of my exhibit. Motherhood is one of the most precious experiences from the time of finding out of pregnancy, having a child to call yours, and raising them to become adults in this world. MOM, Museum of Motherhood, would be the name and theme of my museum exhibit about the human condition. The painting, sculpture, and architecture pieces that to reveal to the museum audience would be the painting of Madonna and Child with two angels, sculpture of a mother and child, and architecture would be of a maternity waiting village in the country of Malawi. Within motherhood, whether it is by birth, adoption, or guardianship, a maternal love is the greatest and maternal love is the most selfless in the human condition. The painting by Filippo Lippi of 1465 during the Renaissance period, Madonna and Child and Two Angels, has a deeper meaning of motherhood and brings strong spiritual elegant additions to this exhibit. Madonna is Italian for My Lady, and she is a woman in this elegant, realistic painting who is presented as the Virgin Mary. She brings a very realistic touch to the scene while she is near her child, Jesus, or Christ. The child is being held up by two angels who look like children themselves and to be happy and playful to be holding Christ. Lippi uses line and color within this medium that represents the spirituality, purity, innocence, protection, and acts of motherhood. The plaster terracotta color sculpture called Mother and Child by Alfred Gilbert during the time he lived between 1854 and 1934 would be added to the exhibit of MOM, Museum of Motherhood. The sculpture is a medium that is categorized as sculpture in the round because it sits on a surface and is seen from all angles while displaying the affection of a mother's love to her dear child. I think this mother and child adds to the human condition of motherhood by holding her child close, protecting the child's needs, and comforting that every mother offers. In Kasuga, Malawi, the women who have the human condition called pregnancy and plan to give birth from their 36th week until the end of their pregnancy delivery go to a facility called a maternity waiting village. It's where they sit around and they just wait until they give birth. And they're surrounded by a bunch of other women and It was designed by an architect group called Mass Design Group. These maternity waiting villages are filled with expectant mothers-to-be who live and provide medical care to help with the success rates of birth in the country of Malawi. These villages were designed to provide daylight and natural ventilation and to reduce the risk of infectious diseases spreading. This, These architects created compressive compressed, stabilized earth block walls that absorb solar rays during the day and radiate heat during the colder nights. This addition to the exhibit would show the viewers of how we as a society should support our future mothers to be and provide the best care that we can so that they can experience the wonders and love of motherhood. As I designed this experiment called MOM Museum of Motherhood, about the human conditions of becoming a mother and the sacrifices a mother must do, I saw how I too understand that maternal love is the greatest and the maternal love is the most selfless. As I look forward to adding to my family with this bundle of joy growing in my womb, I also reflect on how the love for a child will continue no matter the circumstance. This exhibit will provide the viewers with the reality of what motherhood symbolizes and what it can be.